Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Kyla for those of you that are new here and on this channel I make videos all about travel, health, and mindset. So today I am going to be talking about one of my favorite topics which is travel. So I get so many questions about affordable travel and how to make travel and traveling well a reality. So I live in France right now and I lived in France last year as well. I studied abroad in France, went home to the US over the summer and have been living in France again since September. And I always take weekend trips and go abroad to other countries in Europe in general. So this video is gonna be all about affordable travel, especially in Europe, where I can hopefully answer questions and inspire you guys to take some trips and travel when possible. Because honestly, it is so, so worth it and not too difficult either if you know the right tips. So with that, let's get into this video. So my first tip is to live in Europe or study abroad if possible. And I know this is not feasible for everyone, but it is a really, really easy way to travel because if you already live in Europe or are studying abroad, you can just take trips, mini trips during the weekend all over Europe. It is really easy to find cheap tickets for weekend trips so you can just hop away somewhere over the weekend. So for example, I went to um, Ken in the south of France last weekend or two weekends ago and it was beautiful. I had a friend staying there so it was so awesome to visit her and travel all over and it extremely, extremely gorgeous with the beaches and all of the stunning views and we hopped on over to Monaco as well. So that's another thing if you live in Europe or study abroad you can make a lot of friends from all over the world and also all over different parts of Europe and it makes travel easy because a lot of times then you have a place to stay when you go visit a country. It's so so nice to be able to visit friends but in general just taking weekend trips is pretty inexpensive as well last month i also went to naples italy and that was fantastic because i stayed with a bunch of other friends and we saw so many gorgeous views of the amalfi coast and we went to pompeii and overall it was just fantastic if you do not live in europe or you're not studying abroad and you can't just travel over weekend trips or when you have breaks my next tip is to travel to Europe for as long as possible, ideally one or two months, but it could be shorter if necessary because if you're traveling to Europe for as long as possible or for a few months instead of just a few weeks, you have the opportunity to go to a lot of different countries and that's going to be way cheaper um, to just hop around to different countries and stay in different cities for a few days at a time rather than just traveling for a week or two. And that way you can really, really stretch your dollar because you can see a bunch of different cities and a bunch of different countries and you don't have to buy so many plane tickets back and forth. And also just to note, this video is primarily for Americans or Canadians who don't already live in Europe because if you already live in Europe, you might already know these tips. Regardless of where you're from, I just recommend getting away for a weekend, traveling whenever possible, taking breaks when you can and seeing new countries, new cities and new places because honestly, it really is so inspiring and for me i love it because it really just helps break up my routine and gives me like a new perspective on my life and what i'm going through and really just inspires me to be creative and keep working and keep traveling okay my second tip is to pack light so traveling around is going to be a lot easier and nicer and in general all around better cheaper etc if you have less stuff you're gonna save on transport fees so if you pack carry-on you're gonna save so much money because you don't have to pay to have a checked bag when you're flying or even on train sometimes they charge you if you have a bigger suitcase so it is so so nice to pack light because it is 
first of all, easier to carry around. It's easier to move around. It's way less of a hassle. It saves you time at the airport and it will also save you transport fees as well on both trains and planes. Overall, Packing Light is really the way to go. It's so much more convenient, especially when you're going from place to place and you don't have a place to keep your big suitcase for long periods of time. It's so nice to just have a backpack or a small carry-on and that's all you have. It's way more convenient. Okay, so my third tip is to take planes, except for when you're traveling within the same country or to a country nearby. So for, for example, taking the train from Paris to Belgium or, Bel or Paris to the Netherlands is super convenient, but a lot of times I find it way easier to fly and cheaper as well. So taking budget airlines such as EasyJet, Ryanair, etc. can be really, really cheap and easy to get around. I personally prefer to fly because it saves on time. Taking trains it is a lot longer. It's way more convenient to take a plane, but you just have to be careful of fees for these budget airlines because they tend to charge you a lot, especially for things like checked baggage, which is another reason why you should pack light. But overall, I really prefer to take planes. I know it's not the best for the environment, but I try to do other things to offset my carbon footprint. But in general, I really think taking planes is much, much easier because it takes less time and in general is very cheap. My fourth tip is to travel with other people to save on hotel and Airbnb costs. So I am all about solo travel. I love traveling alone, but it can be really nice to travel with other people to save money on hotel and Airbnb costs because obviously if you have another person with you, you're going to save money. And also I'm all about budget travel and traveling to as many places as you can for the least amount of money but lately i'm kind of grown out of staying in gross hostels so these tips are for traveling cheaply yes but also for traveling well because i think it is so so amazing to be able to have a great experience while you're traveling while still saving on money um but anyway so Travel with people and saving money on hotel and Airbnb costs can be awesome. You can stay in boutique hotels or good Airbnbs and that way you can still get like a local feel but it's going to be cheaper because you have someone to share it with. Of course, there's so many nice hostels all over Europe now that you can find for pretty cheap but are still really nice and if I'm traveling alone, I honestly like staying at hostels sometimes because it's a great way to meet other people, meet other travelers, and make friends. Um, but I stress nice hostels because I've stayed at some hostels that are less than ideal. So I am really tried to do my research about the best places to stay. I'd also recommend staying in the city center wherever you go because it's going to be way easier to walk to things than having to pay for transport. Yes, I recommend doing your research, finding cheap boutique hotels rather than name brand hotels. You're going to be able to find some really nice local hotels for a good price because I really personally like staying in hotels. I love Airbnbs, don't get me wrong, but staying in a nice hotel can be nice as well. Um, nice hostels. You're going to find a lot of good hostels in the city center, but as I said before, do your research and make sure they are actually nice and not gross. And then doing research to find good Airbnbs in the city center is awesome as well. And then if you have other people with you, you can save on the price. If not, stay in a hostel or stay in a cute little Airbnb, maybe a shared, not a shared room, but, um, an Airbnb where you just rent out a room and then that way you can meet other people if you're traveling alone because that's one of the things I love about traveling alone is it kind of forces you out of your comfort zone and a lot of times you meet a lot of cool people. And then my last tip is to eat 
one or two meals in if necessary and grocery shop when you're traveling. So this kind of is a simple tip and it seems obvious but a lot of people just eat out at every single meal when they're traveling and it can be really really cost effective to eat a few meals in if you want and honestly i love doing that just buying little groceries or having picnics or nights in because it's a great way to still experience the culture of the city because you can go to the grocery store and pick up or the market or the farmer's market and pick up local food but still eat in or have a picnic in a park or by the river that has been some of my favorite experiences like just getting groceries having a night in or having a picnic with friends and enjoying a meal that way instead of going out to a restaurant for every single meal and also carry a water bottle around with you i mean obviously in some countries it's not safe to drink the water in most of europe it is safe to drink the water though but just in general carry a water bottle around with you because not only will it be healthier because you'll be hydrated and drinking water but you will save money on water bottles as well and yeah eat in especially breakfast breakfast is super easy to get little things to make food at your airbnb or hotel or wherever just getting little things for breakfast to eat in and then you can eat out the other meals if necessary but personally i love having picnics or nights in with friends and that does save money for me Food is a big part of the reason I travel. I love finding good vegan food wherever I go. So usually I choose to eat out less, but I get really nice meals when I do eat out. So I get go to a really good vegan place or find a really cute restaurant with great vegan options. Places can be pricier sometimes, not always, but sometimes. And so I kind of like prioritizing going to places like that and then eating in other meals. So I hope these tips helped you. Again, these were my tips to help you travel cheaply but also travel well because it is so so amazing to be able to hop around to different cities and countries and see as many places as possible and in europe compared to the united states canada australia etc it is so easy to do that because all the countries are close together and it can be so easy just to hop around and see as many places as possible. So those are my tips. Be sure to like this video and subscribe down below as well as hit the bell to get notifications when I release new videos and ask me any questions down below. Thank you so, so much, my loves. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.